here in Miami, Lone Depot Park. Saturday afternoon action on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies taking on the Miami Marlins. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about to get started. And on the mound today, Sixto Sanchez. Boogie pitched into the seventh, earned the W in his last start. He really needed that one. Well, his team needs another one today. We'll see if he can carry that performance into this game. Ready to go? Here's the center fielder, Yonathan Daza. The wind the pitch. That one inside, and that's how this game gets started. First pitch, 110. And the right hander deals. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up, and that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Pitch misses, and now 3-0. And that's in for a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. The 3-1. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Now batting Jerickson Profar. Base knock right field. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing the high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. And here is C.J. Crone. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. There's a strike. That's to third, and it goes just foul. No outs, runners at first and second. Next pitch misses, and it's one and two. And now two and two. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Righty delivers. Chris Bryant up next. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And the righty deals. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. It's a strikeout, but they'll be in good shape if they make their outs as difficult as that one. Those grinding ABs take a toll on a pitcher as the game goes on. Here's Chris Bryant now. Three hits and a loss last night. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Daza, the lead runner at second, Profar over at first, so going away. Out towards right center field, Hamps under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one, two down. That's it. 
the second base. Here's Bud Black's lineup for the Colorado Rockies. And probably their most productive player so far this year, Brendan Rodgers. Well, these days we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup. But a guy like this, they circle him. Make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so you know they put in a little extra time and effort and on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker when he's hot. So it's going to be fun to see how they try to work him right here. Ryan McMahon in the box now. Take strike one. Next pitch misses outside. And that's ball one. First and second, two down. Shut down, now. Shut down. And a ball in two strikes. Stays alive. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Got him looking. And that is that. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. here in Lone Depot Park. Today's starter for Colorado, Kyle Freeland. What do you look for here? Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year as evidenced by that inflated whip, but he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy's a competitor, and we'll watch how he works in this one. Luis arrives. The next to hit takes outside. And the 1 0. Lifted in the air out to left. And that'll fall for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Here's the veteran shortstop, Jose Iglesias. That's outside, ball one. Kicks and deals. That one finds the corner, and the count one and one. Nobody out, runner at first. Gonna count one and two. One and two. And that one is lifted in the air. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Now it's Yuli Gurriel. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-1. And a foul ball. And one and two. It's a good take. Got him swinging. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. Two on, one out. Jorge Soler up at the plate. 
coming off a big one yesterday where he knocked in five. First oh. offering misses the mark. Kicks and fires. One ball, one strike. Arise. The lead runner out at second, Iglesias. At first, one gone. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. Lined, and that's a base hit. One runs in. The second run scores, and they take a two-run lead. Well, a huge two RBI swing of the bat right there. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to hit. Homered last night, added another hit as well. And that's in there for strike one. No ball. One strike. And he deals. And look out as that one ran in and got him. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. I, I say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. John Birdie at the plate. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. The pitch. Birdie checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. Didn't go. The pitch. Just oh. off the inside edge. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And a 2-1 hammered, but foul. One out. Runners at first and second. The other way. Takes it to the bag. That's one. Goes to second. Safe there. To second. Tag safe. So they get one at first, but can't complete the double play. Here's Gary Hampson. Three hits last night. So he was a big factor in getting that win. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. And now the lefty. And that one fouled off. Second and third, two down. So now one and two. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat. Drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. And now the count is even. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Two and two. That one ripped. That's back there. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double as they score a pair on the play. These are the best kind of automatic doubles for an offense. Everyone scores on the play, and they still have a runner in scoring position. And they pitched to him with the base open at first, maybe regretting that a bit, but there's nothing they can do about it now. Man in scoring position with two away. Asael Garcia up to the plate. There's a strike. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. Okay, Let's go. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he's realizing out there on the mound that he's got to settle in pretty quickly or else he's going to get hit hard in this first inning. And a pop-up right side foul territory. 
Diaz makes the grab and that'll end the inning. So they move out in front after a four run outburst. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. It's the Marlins four and the Rockies nothing. Back here in Miami, top of the second. Now it's the DH, Brendan Rogers. The wind of the pitch. Slow roller up the middle. Iglesias. Over to first. In time. Nice stretch. It was a bang, bang play at first, Singy. So let's take another look at the throw that made it possible to get the out. No doubt that 85 mile per hour heater was the difference on this play, according to StatCast. And it looked like a blur going across the infield from up here. And they just got the out. And now it's Elias Diaz. In there for strike one. Here comes a pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. Can't feel the cleanly, but he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Now here's Nolan Jones. In there and it's 0-1. On the ground, right side, and foul ball. Left hand batter waits. Ground ball, right side, and that's just foul. The 0 2. Started after it, appeal to third, and Mike Fillmore right on it. He says he held up. One, two now. Bounce to the left side. Over to Cooper, and it's a one, two, three inning. Rockies are down quietly. They trail it here, four nothing. And welcome back. Leading off, Jacob Stallings. Why the kick the pitch? Good eye right there. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Rusty Valentine doing the umpiring behind the dish for us. Maybe the best name in the league. <laughs> Yeah, that's a solid one, no doubt. I mean, who's better to ask than you? I kind of wonder if Rusty is his actual name or just a nickname. Yeah, no clue. Anyways, Rusty's got a good zone, very good on the corners of the plate, but he'll give pitchers a little bit above the letters and below the knees if they're earning it. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. 2-2. Two -two. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that one. Luis Arise stands in. He let off the bottom of the first with a single and then came in to score. That one's in there, 0 and 1. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at bat to try to get something to hit hard. Rudder at first with no outs here. On, 
Next one that's misses. Ball. Yeah, that's ball one. Just no. missed. That one fouled off, two and two. The pitch. Swing and he breaks his bat. Over to first, too late. The sack bunt turns into a single. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. Now it's going to be Jose Iglesias. Hey, now, let's go. And that's in there for strike one. And the pitch keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Stallings over at second. Arise on at first with nobody out. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. Yeah. Guriel batting for the second time. And that's strike one. That hits the dirt, and it's one and one. The one one is fouled off. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off speed pitch on this next one. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. That one fouled off. And a pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Two on, two outs. Misses inside, and a count one and two. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. And here it comes. It's in and out of his glove. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Marlins strand a pair. They lead 4-0. Back here at the ballpark, stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Cole Tucker. Cole Tucker. The pitch. Clips the outside corner, strike one. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Sends it to first, one up, one down. The center, the center field, field, number two. Jonathan Daza steps to the plate. Rock to open the ball game. Here, 
First pitch doesn't find the zone. Bounce to third. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Next for Colorado, Jerks in Profar. And he's already singled in this game. Profar batting second in today's lineup, and he's a native of Curacao. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece and stays alive. Here's a fun fact for you, Boog. Curacao won the Little League World Series in 2004 with 11-year-old Jerks and Profar starting on the mound against the U.S. in the championship game. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. And that keeps the inning going. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Pitch was away, so he definitely pulled off it there. Not what you want to do with the pitch in that location, really, but he was able to guide it into the outfield for the knock. So digging in, C.J. Crone. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. The 1 0. That one hit to right. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Profar around third. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time, and they cut down the run to end the inning. Back here at Lone Depot Park, set for the bottom of the third, and now the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. And that one oh. just misses a ball and no strikes. Okay. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. And there's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. And a count one and two. Down and in, moved his feet. On the ground to third. Tosses across to first. One up, one down. The third baseman, number five, John Birdie. John Birdie, the next up for the Marlins. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. Birdie, 33 years old, and he's been wearing out home plate lately. He scored 10 times in the last 10 games. In there for strike one. One down, base is empty. Out to short. Fires over to Chrome. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. So two down now, and here is Garrett Hampson. He drove it two with a double his first time up. In there, and it's 0-1. Hampson goes 5 feet, 11 inches, 195 pounds, 
and he's usually a shortstop but today he's starting in the outfield to the right side he takes it himself yep, to the bag go. and that'll do it and one two three go the Marlins but they lead it four to nothing New inning getting started, and now the right fielder, Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant. And he deals. The 0 1. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Hit the air, right field. Solaire gets under it, makes the grab, and there's one down. The bat at number 24, second base. Brian McMahon steps to the plate. Struck out looking at his first at bat. And that's in there for strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And that's a double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Grounded out to short in his first trip. That hits the dirt. Ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Here's a rocket out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Now the batter now, Elias Diaz. Grounded out his first time. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Outside. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. The 2-0. Is in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 chained up call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And that's outside. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And the right hander's 3 1. And fouled off. Three and two now. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Runner at second, two down. Down the line towards the corner. Solaire getting an angle on it. Makes the catch inning over. So one left for Colorado. They're down four nothing. Bottom of the inning, here's the left fielder, Abasail Garcia. Garcia. And a pitch. And there's the strike. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ballgame. And he'll won. That's 
And Garcia gets a piece. The one two. Bows it back with two strikes. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. On the ground. McMahon. Fires over to first. Garcia gone on the play. Now batting. Jacob Stallings down. Slow roller to third. And he grabs it in foul ground. The wind in the pitch. Good eye right there. That one misses. And it's two and one. Bounce to the right. Oh, he gloves it. Gathers and throws. And very nicely done for the out. Now so up next, Luis arrives. That one's in there, 0 1. This is important. If he can go 1, 2, 3 here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Taps softly to the right side. Crone steps on the bag, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. And the Marlins down quietly, but they're in front 4 0. Welcome back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Nolan Jones. Sanchez, back to work. Way high. All these Rockies. Looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. Riding to the plate. On the ground at first. And he takes it himself for the out. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. Next to hit for the Rockies, Cole Tucker. First time up, he grounded to third. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Cooper. He takes it on his own. And a couple of quick outs. Now battle. The center field. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Here's the Rockies leadoff hitter, Yonathan Daza. Had a swing and a line drive at a right field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now Jose Iglesias. The pitch. In for a strike. 0-1. Oh, on Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Justin Lawrence. Getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Block. A left-hander also throwing. Back 
back up the middle and a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. I could watch base hits like that all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Here's Bud Black towards the mound, and we're going to see a pitching change here. Kyle Freeland, done for the day. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New pitcher on now, Justin Lawrence. He's pitching on two days rest. Here's Guriel, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And takes low for ball one. You know, these Marlins putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. The pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. Iglesias aboard here at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strike out of the series, and we're just two games in, so... Hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Soler oh. in the box with one away as he takes ball one. The next oh. offering misses, oh. and that's ball two. Oh. Right-handed reliever. And a foul ball. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Top of the zone for a called strike. Foul, we'll see another payoff pitch. At the belt and fires. Good take plate it, appearance it. there. Able to take the walk. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip no, the zone. Man. That's a stone cold take. Garrett. And Cooper. here's the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. Just no. missed. Runners at first and second with one gone. Out in front and foul to the left side. Tries to check his swing, but he makes contact. Jones to second. What a double play that was. Inning over. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. Five innings complete. It's the Marlins four and the Rockies nothing. Back here in Miami, now the left fielder, Jerickson Profar. Sanchez, back to work. And there's a ball. In there at the knees, and that's strike one. They say it went. Next pitch misses inside. Ball two. 
And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. CJ Crone will hit next. That one finds the corner. It's 0 1. Here's a chopper to short. Iglesias slings the first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Now batting the right fielder. Chris. Two outs, bases empty. So next will be the four hole hitter for the Rockies, Chris Bryant. Well, boo, Chris Bryant, a kid who accomplished a lot right away into the big league. Former number two overall pick, won the rookie of the year, was named the MVP in 2016, went in a World Series with the Cubs over a hundred year drought. Man, you can't start your career much better than that. The 0-2. One ball, two straight. Now, one of the people that really influenced Chris's career, especially at the plate, is Dad Mike, a former ninth round pick of the Red Sox in 1980. He began working with Chris and his hitting every day starting when Chris was just five years old. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. Nothing doing here this half. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Marlins four and the Rockies nothing. And welcome back. Here's a speed threat, John Birdie. The third baseman, John Birdie. The pitch. Lawrence goes six feet, three inches, 215 pounds, and he was born in Panama. Next offering is in for a strike. And deals just off the outside edge. Excellent location right there. Flirted with the zone, tried to get in the chase. That one to first. Crone takes it himself. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Garrett Hampson, the next up for the Marlins. Drove in two runs on a double back in the first. He's one for two. Out there to center, Daza ranging after it. Makes the grab and there's two gone. Now bad. No left field. And up next for Miami, Abasail Garcia. Garcia, a former All-Star, a member of the 1000 Hit Club, and he's usually in right today starting in left. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Boog, if I was to break it down and make it simple, I would say right field's kind of a chill spot compared to left field. Left field's that second hot corner, in my opinion. And now it's even up. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Inside just missed. And the righty deals. 
That one, 95 to finish him off. All set for the start of the Pick inning. Up. And now here is Ryan McMahon. Ryan McMahon. Here comes the pitch. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Next one is off the play. Two and one. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Next one just misses. Full count three and two. Line drive, and that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Now here is Brendan Rodgers. First offering misses the mark. McMahon gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next pitch has popped up. Arise. Calls it in, and there's one away. Now back. Catch it. Aaliyah. Diaz. Man at first. So in now for Colorado, Elias Diaz. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Yeah, now the 1 Ground ball left side could be two. Iglesias toss to second. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Marlins four and the Rockies nothing. Now on the bump, Brad Hand. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak now, contact, so command and execution Number are huge for him. Brad Hand. Here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. The catcher. The pitch. That one oh, inside, back. and it's one to no. Movement in the bullpen. Tyler Kinley getting ready to come on for Bud Black. And the pitch. That's, that's off the ball. mark, and yeah, that's ball two. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Two one now. And yeah, that's outside. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. They get the out on Stallings. And there's one away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Luis Arias, the next up for the Marlins. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. 
Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. There's a strike. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely. If he's doing damage now, if he's rolling over and, and grounding out, then it's a different story. But yeah, if he can put the ball in the gaps or over the fence, 100%. Two two now. Just no. misses with that one. Yeah, okay. and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. Well, that's the money maker right yeah, there. Yeah. Two strikes, that's slider good. down and away what from the same that? side thrower as the hitter. I mean, it's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The 0 1. Back to the mound. In plenty of time to first, and that is the inning. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the eighth. Now, here is Nolan Jones. The Rockies in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That one oh. missed. Bullpen activity starting up now. Matt Barnes, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Scott getting cranked up as well. The next oh, pitch misses, oh. and the count is 2-0. Sanchez still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one, and at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Ripped to third and picked on a hop. Fires to first, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Next for Colorado, Cole Tucker. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Kicks and fires. That misses oh, off the outside edge. They say it went. struck right field that's back there and it's gone he leaves the yard to right his second of the year and they inch closer it's 4-1 got in the jet stream on a line drive we saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders which is usually bad news and all of a sudden they're back in this ball game here comes the skipper and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot six no sanchez won't go any further and he exits with a nice lead through the ball well and we'll have a new pitcher when we come back. Anthony Bender on a pitch out of the pen here. And he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. And now the center fielder, Yonathan Daza. 
First oh. pitch doesn't find the zone. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Ball to strike. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity, and it is hard to catch up to. Profar stands in now and watches strike one. Gets the call, and the count is 0-2. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. He goes down looking, but the Rockies do get one back via the solo homer. It's now 4-1. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Tyler Kinley takes over on the mound. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Three, four, five due up for the home team. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. And the pitch. Ball one low. That's a little bit low. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Two and old oh to count. Here it comes. Foul ball. And a pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. Two and two now. Righty delivers. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Daza makes the play. One away. Now batter, right fielder. Jorge. Jorge Soler digs in now. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs. Obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. 